later on this month. Every year, dozens gather at the Ingalls Harbor in Decatur to take a plunge into the Tennessee River just like that. This year, no exception. News 19's Lindsey Smith and Jessica Camuto brings us to sights and sounds from the 39th annual Polar Bear Plunge. We're back for round two of Decatur's Polar Bear Plunge. In fact, it's our second year taking the challenge. That's right, Lindsay. And unlike last year, it is cold outside. And when I'm saying cold, it is 20 to 30 degrees colder than this time last year. Last year, we were close to the 70s for the high. This year, we stayed in the 40s. The plunge is sponsored by the Community Action Partnership of North Alabama. It helps ensure meals can be served to disabled and homebound people living in Morgan County. Proceeds from hot chocolate and t-shirts sold at the event will go towards the Meals on Wheels and more program. Our average right now is 300 meals a day that we deliver Monday through Friday. Anderson says raising money at this year's plunge was more significant than years past. We had a 40% reduction in our um, funding this year um, due to United Way um, funds being down. And so, so yeah, it's kind of a struggle this year, but we're grateful for the support and, you know, the community always comes through. So can't say enough about the great community here. Chet Hughes is one of those participants. It's his first time taking the plunge. My daughter, my daughter, she's the reason um, we were talking about doing it. A bunch of her friends were doing it and then um, they chickened out. So she takes me and here we are. And I know it sounds crazy, but I think it will be a great way to kind of motivate yourself to do things you don't enjoy because it's not going to last long. So that's kind of the reason I'm wanting to do it, too, is I know it's going to be miserable, but it's kind of like I'm conquering that fear of doing something. So this year, I think I'm a little bit more prepared. I swapped out my t-shirt and shorts from last year and I traded it in for long sleeve shirt and some leggings. Uh, yeah, and it's a good thing. It's a little colder, a little windier. And Lindsay, I'm sorry, but you are not getting away with not taking the plunge with me or our viewers. <laughs> What a way to bring in the new year. Indicator, I'm Lindsay Smith. And I'm Jessica Camuto, News 19. And they're freezing. <laughs> they're freezing. The event organizers say around 150 to 200 people participated in this year's plunge. And speaking of the